a little bit of a personal ode to the Knight family. Um, my dad, who's 86 years old, um, uh, of course retired from the university, retired basketball coach, he, uh, he played for Coach Knight's dad in Louisiana College back in the 50s. So both families somehow over time matriculated to Hattiesburg and Miss Ann, Coach Steve's mother, was my dad's secretary in the Department of Athletic Administration and Coaching. Mm -hmm. um, their, uh, Coach Steve's brother, Larry, um, and I played baseball against each other growing up and uh, many, many times, of course, worked together in the summer at Old Smoky Sporting Goods downtown. Um, uh, Coach Steve's other, one of his other brothers, David, was one of my coaches at Oak Grove for a short period of time. Uh, coach Inco was my football coach. So, I mean, there, there's, it's just been, they're just part of our family. And he's a Hall of Famer, um, a USM Hall of Famer, but also a Mississippi uh, Sports Hall of Famer, um, and just an all around class act. And he's been doing this. He was, he was the head coach at William Carey for several years before I ever got into, even into high school. He's been doing this a long time. Didn't know really what to expect, and they did some things on defense we weren't quite ready for, and it took us a little while to adjust to it. But they had not played. He had basically a new team, and, um, and so they had a lot to do with our offensive struggles. But I was so proud of our guys, really two games in a row, that they just they play with tremendous effort and intensity. Uh, on the defensive end, and eventually we, you know, I, 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 we talked about it at halftime. Let's do a better job. Let's get under control on offense. I uh, thought we were quick shooting. It didn't, didn't move the basketball quite as much. I didn't think it was selfishness. I just thought we lacked patience. And uh, we've got to clean our execution up. And the execution always is, is the head coach's responsibility. So I take responsibility for that. But I was, I was very proud of our defensive intensity, and, and our numbers bespeak that. Um, our defense, of course, I think is ahead of our offense at this point, but we've got a lot of guys playing and a lot of new guys, and we're working to develop that chemistry. So anyway, we're going to continue to work on that and improve on that, and, uh, but I, I was very proud of our defensive effort, um, and I, I thought uh, over the course of time, uh, it just eventually wore William Carey down. It wore their guards down. Uh, I thought we did a good job of taking them out of anything that they were trying to do and uh, with our defensive pressure. So I was proud of that, and, uh, but we got some things to work on. I didn't think in the first half we rebounded the ball very well. I thought we had some great defensive possessions that we didn't finish. You have to finish, I mean, otherwise it's like wasting 30 seconds of effort if you don't go finish the possession. And they had 10, uh, they only had 22 points at the half, and 10 of those came on second chance points in the first half. So that was a concern to us. Uh, but again, I thought we did a better job. But of course, you know, is that job going to be good enough toward the end of the year to help us win our league? So we we got we you can correct rebounding too. Uh, we've got good size athleticism. We're doing too much of waiting for the ball to come to us instead of going to get it. And uh, we'll get that straight in practice. I can promise you that. Talk more about the defense, like you mentioned. Uh, I think you held uh, William Carey to over twenty six minutes of scoring droughts. Uh, uh, didn't know that. Uh, I mean, it, it felt like it was it was big in the first half when you guys were kind of struggling on right. offense, but then that just kind of equaled out to that nine, well, eight-minute scoring drought they had the second I, half. I was told, one of the assistants said after the game, of course, this is really the first time I'm looking at any of the statistics uh, very, very in-depth, but we had uh, we had 14 consecutive stops at one time. The, the, the one they scored on was on offensive rebound. They scored, they, they scored, kicked it out, turned around, scored, you know. So that really shouldn't have happened at that point. But that happened because uh, they're having to guard and those guards were having to work the basketball up the floor with, against a, a lot of pressure for a long time. And again, it just, it just wore them down. So, um, but I, I, thought, I thought our defense was good. Uh, let's look at our, our percentage there in the second half. Of course, we held them to 25%, um, uh, six out of 21 from the three. Those are numbers that we want to be. We want to be under 37%. We want to hold a team under 50 points. So those are all good. Uh, uh, three point percentage, we wanted under 20. Uh, six of 21. You know, Jennifer, do the math for me real quick on that. Uh, six of 21, I'm not sure what the three point percentage is. Uh, I'm looking at it right now for the game. 28%, uh, 28.6%, yeah. it's a little much a little more than our, that we want to allow. And, and a couple of those were off, again, off of, off of offensive rebounds or 
slow rotations. But anyway, things that can be corrected. But overall, I thought our, our defensive effort was really good. Um, we just never we didn't get into a flow on offense until the second half. But a lot of those, and when we did, were caused by turnovers, deflections, and things like that before we kind of got going. And then then I thought 12, 13 minute mark at, at the timeout, we said, hey. Let's let's get the basketball. We're, we're not shooting the basketball uh, well from the perimeter. Let's make a, a concerted effort to get it inside. And we, a number of possessions, we were uh, ran some things to get the basketball into the paint. We're able to kind of finish there, or get foul, get to the foul line. But overall, again, I was proud of our effort. I'm never going to be upset with our guys when I thought they when I think they're playing with great effort and battling. And, and they were trying to do the right thing. We just we 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 just got to continue to work on our chemistry and rhythm. Playing our offense is a rhythm is rhythmic, and uh, you can't you can't you have to play. You play defense. You coach defense with great intensity and 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 get after it. And but on offense, they kind of have to gear down a little bit and think a little bit more, and push it down there with great intensity. But we 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 didn't do a good job, I think, of taking it from you know fifth to third gear and uh, and kind of begin to, to execute better on offense. But again, as I said earlier, uh, offensive execution responsibility rests with the head coach. And um, we're gonna we're gonna work really, really hard to get better at that because I, I like I like the look of our defense at this point. Coach, what was what were they doing in that first half that was kind of he was mixing his defenses up. They were in one three one that we weren't ready for. Mm -hmm. Of course, you had to give him credit. Uh, they were one three one. They 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 did a good job, I thought, of switching and doing some things again that we maybe didn't see them do last year. Because of course, we were just trying to go on tendencies. That's all we had to go do, to go on, and um, it caught us off guard. But I thought I thought at halftime we were able to do. It. I'm not taking credit for that, but we we're able to to change and, and do some things on offense that that were able to be more effective against what they were doing. Kind of saw a glimpse of Austin in the uh, exhibition match, but yeah. here you had the highest volume. Um, you had some impact in the mid-range game too. Could you kind of talk about uh, how he was able to impact uh, the game in both sides? Yes. I, I, first of all, his just experience, and you know, I kind of want to take you back to my I, when Austin's from North Mississippi, and of course he, he ended up in a prep school up in Kansas, but. Of course, we we were recruiting him, and uh, but Ole Miss was you know he ended up going to Ole Miss, and and I I just always kept an eye on him, uh, kind of always just not knowing that he would end up here, but just kind of always kept up with him, you know. And I thought he was really good for Ole Miss at times, I really did. And and when the opportunity came for him for, to want to play a bigger role and come to Southern Miss, and and one of the things I liked about Austin. He never he had he loved Coach Davis at Ole Miss. He loved their program. You know, it wasn't it wasn't like a bad deal. He just wanted to play a bigger role. I think he's got a chance to be an all league player. Uh, he, and he, and he, and he's, he he doesn't get rattled. He's 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 cool and uh, plays his tail off. But he he, he has a, a you know he he, he does he's, he's unflappable. And uh, you know when we were struggling to score, he was just the same guy. And, of course, and when we needed him in the second half, to when they, I think they cut it to three, uh, there real, real early in the first half, in the second start of the second half, I should say, I thought he, he kind of stepped his game up. We were able to get him in, even go in there and post him because he got such good size. You know, we posted him a few times and he finished, and I thought that was responsible really uh, for kind of breaking the game open. Can you speak to Denaje and then come off I the thought bench? He, I thought Denaje both halves was very impactful. And effective. He's such an incredible athlete, and uh, another another kid. He doesn't doesn't get rattled. Um, didn't didn't let the fact that they were playing. You know that. I mean, here's another thing. People expect. You know, oh man, we ought to beat William Carey. This and that. You know, they, those guys got pride too. You know, they they want to come over here and beat Southern Miss, and that they they played hard. They had a good game plan. Had they gave a good effort. Uh, there are a lot of things we we could have done better. Absolutely, sure were. But we did some really good things, and, and they're going to win some ball games in their league. But I thought that back on Denaja, I thought Denaja, I mean, six for seven, you know, I thought he was so solid. And, and of course, we started, he's been starting, well, we didn't, you know, he started the exhibition game, and, and then he didn't start tonight because we we felt like that, uh, and, and we were right. Uh, we wanted to really apply a lot of pressure to their guards. We didn't think that they had. We thought their starting guards were good, but we just we felt like we could get into their bench behind them, and uh, so we wanted to start a little quicker lineup out there. But of course, when he, he you know he took that in stride, and no no 
no uh, change of attitude for him. And I thought he came in, he was very impactful both, uh, you know, on both, uh, both halves and uh, got, got some nice looks at it. You know, six out of seven, that's a pretty, pretty good night. Anything else? Pretty good at this, Jeff.